Hi everyone, I'm June and welcome to my channel Libromer. Uh, I decided to just start recording right now and it started to rain <laughs> so it will be maybe noisy because it's always uh, stormy and which means you will hear some thunders and um, yeah it will be very noisy sometimes anyway I was thinking in recording later on uh, a video about um, Wuthering Heights and I need my computer because I don't remember the name or the names of the characters but I thought oh, never mind I will just record now that I have time and I can do it so um, yeah let's talk about Wuthering Heights uh, let's start from the beginning I think it was one or two years ago when I decided to do a kind of a study reading um, where I will uh, supposed to pick up a random book or where any book and I was supposed to read it a uh, like chapter uh, one chapter per day studying the characters the setting the plot like taking notes and I did all um, in my computer I was reading the book um, uh, digitally because I, I, I got it from the library and I was taking notes in my computer so I was doing everything in the computer I think I read uh, about eight chapters only uh, but I didn't like um, the way I was doing it. I didn't like the the idea of doing everything uh, in the computer. So at the end, I got bored. And the funny thing that I was reading in in in, in Spanish, but even though I I just didn't enjoy it. And that's the thing. So I stopped that. I didn't do that. I didn't want to continue taking notes about this book, and that's it. So I never finished that project. Uh, and it was, let me say, uh, I think, um, I think more than a year ago, yeah, I, I got that book, I think it was for my birthday, uh, I, I bought the book, um, but until now, it, yeah, it took me more than a year to read it, and I read it in English, and the version I have, um, the one I have shown already, it's, uh, it's like a collection of books, so at the beginning you will find um, information about the, the, the writer um, and at the end you will find a glossary of all these old words which I found funny because in some way uh, some words are not old for me I mean I know them and I don't think people who speak English will find them old maybe because they have a different a interpretation or a different meaning I don't know but I don't find them that old and and well you know that I'm not uh, I mean English is not my first language so um, I don't know all the words so I was just skipping them and I, I still understand uh, the main idea or the meaning of the what I'm reading so it's not a big problem so at the end I, I was not even watching the uh, or checking the glossary so um, so it was not so hard to read, it's not that hard, but um, so I finished the book and I have to say that I didn't enjoy it that much um, and I'm trying to think why this book is considered like a classic and I understand, I mean there is a... Uh, I I think it's because, first of all, the, the, the author, which is, um, I forgot the name, Emily Brunt, I think. <laughs> um, it just She's one of three sisters who were very famous in those days. So, um, of course, you have one of the first, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's one of the first books written by women uh, and that have an important recognition in those days. So it's part of the legacy in some way um, and becomes um, a classic. Um, so maybe because of that, okay? And of course the story uh, is powerful and I do appreciate the, the writing style, okay? But I didn't enjoy it. 
I mean, I didn't like, and I will explain uh, um, in detail. Um, first of all, if you don't know, I will try to to make a summary without spoiling too much, but probably I will spoil some things because there is no other way to explain my feelings about this book or any book without telling some parts of the story. Uh, so this is a story, let's say, um, of two families, three families, um, which is a 100% drama. Uh, some people will say that maybe it's romance, and I don't see any romance on this. I mean, yeah, of course, I love you, you love me, and uh, I fell in love with you, and so on. But I don't know if that's love, <laughs> so I cannot say that this is romance because if it's romance, it's painful to read, and I would say that is drama. Um, so th this is a story about this family um, uh, is a couple and they have two children a, man, a boy and a girl and the father after going I think it's after going to London I may be wrong um, he brought he brings a, a child a little child a, a, a boy a, which it seems to be like a gypsy boy or something right and so the the family didn't like this boy uh, all of them dislike him and and then later on the the, the girl uh, which is going to be kind of the sister uh, going to like him in some way but in general people don't like him and this boy start growing up with this feeling of um, being excluded hated in some way dislike treated like part of the servant so um, that generates a kind of anger, hatred, and revenge in, in this boy. So the story will go on and so on. But the story starts with this guy who is called, I think it's Logwood or something like that. I don't remember this. So this guy is renting a property, a house and so he goes to talk with the owner of this house which he lives in another place which is called Wuthering Heights so he lives in a different uh, farm or I, I, cannot, I don't know how to say so uh, at, at the beginning uh, Logwood, Logwood, I don't remember the name uh, well this guy, Wood, I will call it Woody uh, he <laughs> he um, comes to visit the owner and in some way to greet him and say thank you for receiving me or whatever or to start the contract I don't know so at the beginning he likes the owner who, who is um, Heathcliff Heathcliff I think is the pronunciation I don't know which is this little boy that has grown up already okay this, this um, hated boy who has grown up and at the beginning he likes him because in some way he feels ah we are the same but then later on after coming a second time he noticed that he's very nasty and he he dislikes him so he comes back to his house and the person in charge of this house which is a woman like a, a kind of a servant the um, um she start uh, telling about Heathcliff, Heathcliff, I think is the name. I, I forget the names. Okay. And because she says, I was very young because my mother was, used to work in Wuthering Heights. So I grew up with them. And so she started telling the story of the family. And that's the way, that's the way we uh, know the whole stories through the eyes of, I think it's Nelly. I'm not sure. I think it's Nelly, the, the name of the servant. So she starts telling the whole story of this family. And it's really dramatic, uh, full of hatred, hatred and full of uh, anger. And it's just really annoying. I didn't like any of the characters. None of them are nice. Heathley Cliff, uh, or whatever the name is, um, is full of hatred. He could have been the type of guy that... You suffer when you are young, but then later you become better, right? And then in some way you take revenge, but 
by doing good things, something like that. No, it's not like that. The rest of the people are just people hating um, him and the, the people who didn't like him since he's young. And the one who loved him uh, were in some way betrayed him. In So it's like the whole story, the, none of the characters are good. You cannot feel um connected with anyone because all of them have bad traits so um you don't you don't like them at all so yeah you don't you don't enjoy reading the life of these people the story is silly it's like i mean it's supposed to be romantic it's supposed to be romance as romance book but it's not because instead of just accepting love no, you you go away. I don't know. It just I don't understand. And it was like that the whole story. And and I have to say that I really dislike Nelly. I think it's Nelly, the name of this servant who is telling the story. Because if it's not because of her and his her big mouth, many things wouldn't happen. Okay, it's because she's always saying things. Is that people she creates a reaction on, on the people around here and that's why many people many things happen in in the story so i didn't like her uh, and the and the the character were naive and i don't know to to follow certain ideas and i don't know the writing style is a very uh, detailed and if you like I don't know if it's, I think it's a Victorian book. I don't know. I'm not sure. If you like that type of style, uh, you will enjoy it. But I felt that it was kind of silly. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. How come that Nelly can know every detail, every word that everyone says? It sounds unrealistic. But of course, it's the way that it, the, the story has to be presented. But the dialogues were a. Um, it, it, they felt unrealistic, uh, like not natural, unnatural, that's the word, they were unnatural, it's like no one will say something like that, I mean no one will uh, explain an idea or a feeling in that way, so it felt like weird reading it, at least for me, um, so the characters were annoying, I didn't like them, the story, the plot, all that's going on until the end didn't make sense to me. Um, it was just full of hatred and revenge. And There was one character, which is, I think it's Joseph, one of the servants. He was um, kind of adult or old in the late part of the book. Uh, who was very religious, okay, very into reading the Bible and... So he could have been a good uh, character to show the good aspects of life, what you need to do to be good, um, based on what he's doing, like going to, to the church and reading the Bible. But instead of that, uh, he was like the grumpy old guy who is like getting mad at everyone, even where they are doing good things, because it's not um, the correct uh, way of being for a Christian person, it's like so. At the end, you felt that the 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 the, the good values that this person could have as a Christian were not shown because he was just a grumpy old guy who was complaining about everything, uh, imposing punishment uh, to the children and say you have to read and read for hours and pray for hours. So, which doesn't make sense. So at the end. There is no character who was good. Nelly, who was supposed to be, um, who is the servant, and he, he, she was supposed to go to give good examples or advices. Not all the advices were good. So uh, at the end, I don't know. None of the characters were interesting. And I didn't enjoy the ending. I think the ending was, I mean, if you have read the book so far, you will kind of uh, guess the ending. 
and I feel that it could have been better. Uh, the the feeling of the book I always felt I always thought that this book was kind of uh, sad. I, it always make me feel that I was reading a book that the setting is in winter, raining. <laughs> By the way, it's raining right now, and I always felt it like that type of the environment is so desolate. That's the word, desolated, desolated. Like there's nothing, no trees, or the trees are dead. And the house is empty and sad. The characters are grumpy, dark, um, with no life, and I don't know. So I always felt like that, and when I was reading, it was the same. I never felt enjoyment in the place, in reading the story and reading, oh, they are in this house, this house is happy, there is many things you know in this house there are parties nothing like that so so at the end yeah I didn't enjoy the story I didn't enjoy the characters the plot was kind of silly uh, if it was drama it was too drama that at the end it didn't make sense uh, and yeah then it was kind of abrupt and you understand everything at the end ah, okay this is what happened and okay that's it and it could have been better i think i don't know after all the the story all the drama it could have been better so um yeah so that those were my thoughts i don't think i would read read this book again i don't think so um but i am i kind of understand why it's considered a classic I know there are people who love this book. They enjoy it. I didn't. I didn't like it in that in any way. <laughs> in any way. So it was just okay for me. So I don't know. What about you? If you have read the, this book, what are your thoughts? Are, do you uh, disagree with me? <laughs> uh, do you think that actually now it's better than what I think? Do you like uh, any of the characters? Did you like the story? Did you like the ending? I don't know. You you can leave the, uh, the, your thoughts in the comment section. If you haven't read the book, this book, what have you heard? Maybe you have heard good things about this book, so you are inclined to read it. Or, or maybe you have read bad comments and you don't feel reading it. I don't know. My thoughts is that this is a classic that, yeah, I don't know if you need to read it. If you just because it's a classic i don't think you will 100 percent enjoy it um i think there are better books as classics in terms of a story i'm not saying that this is bad a bad book because it was bad written because the language was bad no no it's because the story itself is not fulfilling for me uh, it's like reading one of the japanese stories that are very sad at the end but uh, I don't know. I would like to hear about your comments. So uh, that's it. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Um,